Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is gonna be a Taurus reading, December 28th to January 1st. And of course, there's a whole bunch of Tauruses out there. This is not gonna be every single Taurus' story, okay? Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And if this resonates with you, you're more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. Um, I'm also going to be uh, selling these shock, uh, the seven chakra bracelets um, coming soon. Okay, guys, I'm working on that right now. So let's see, Taurus, December 28th to January 1st. One more shuffle, Taurus, December 28th to January 1st. Do a card for you your person and then one for you so you guys could both be watching each other taurus um you could be keeping tabs on someone and so are they tiktok so they're probably waiting for you right now with that tiktok or they're feeling like it's only a matter of time before something happens between you guys yeah all that glitter so maybe you guys both kind of learned that you know that this situation um someone or something may not have been what you had thought it was going to be you know, someone seemed, someone or something seemed like it was going to be perfect. It was what you've been waiting for. And that wasn't the case with all that glitters isn't gold. You know what I mean? And here, Taurus, you've entered this period of peace. You're not probably taking any action. You're probably like, okay, I've done my part. You know, I'm waiting for you now. Um, yeah, see, observer. So you guys could both just be grounded right now, not moving towards each other this week. Uh, you guys are both just working on yourselves. So, let's take a look. Taurus, December 18th to the 20th. Two more shuffles. Taurus, December 18th to the 20th. One last one. Taurus, December 18th to the 20th. December 20th. What? December 28th to January 1st. What was I saying? <laughs> Taurus. <laughs> Last shuffle. <laughs> okay. Uh, intuition. So, yeah, your intuition could be really good right now, Taurus. Um, that could be why you're entering this period of peace. You could be thinking about this person still, of course. As it says here, you guys are both watching, watching each other. Um, but prosperity begins. So, you know, um, there could be a new beginning here. Let's take a look. Taurus, December 28th to January 1st. Um... So for your person here, yeah, they're not happy about the situation. Uh, yeah, they feel like they have to, they sacrificed a lot for this, or they feel like in order to have you, they have to give something up. Yeah, see, love began. So it is possible you guys are going to have a new, uh, a new beginning here, but it could just be self-love. It doesn't have to be a relationship. Because with this solar plexus chakra, you know, you were probably kind of... Um, Having some sort of lack of confidence, but with this solar plexus chakra, you know, this is the having the guts to do something to, you know, to believing that you can. So I feel like, you know, right now you've entered this period of peace where you might have a lot of obstacles, challenges, you know, bills, payments, debt, you know, whatever the case is, Taurus. But you've entered a period of peace where it's like, you know what, I can take care of this. I know I can. And your person over here is like, ah, oh, we're separated. That's not cool. You know. Yeah, you see, you guys might end up coming together um, to help each other out. Yeah, mending and exchanging gifts. The top of the deck here. Between worlds. You see, but someone, you might have a lot in your, or this person has to give up themselves, their old way. Um, they have to give up something. And that could be why with this Between Worlds Taurus. So let's see. December 28th to January 1st. Taurus. December 28th to January 1st, 2021. The year's over. It's ending. One more shuffle, Taurus. December 28th to January 1st. Okay, Taurus, you could be dealing with the cancer. You could be moving, traveling, going on vacation a lot. But I feel like this could be you moving forward. Um, there you go. You see, having the guts to do something. Okay. You could be highly intuitive, as we said, with that intuition card. Yeah, and it could be because you know the truth about maybe a pregnancy or about whether or not something can grow. You know, a very uh, passionate connection. Let's take a look. Okay, the Tower card, the Lover's card, the Moon card. You could be dealing with the Gemini or Pisces, Taurus. Um... 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, Taurus. So what it looks like here is like your person, they're having a realization, uh, as we, as I said earlier, you know, that they have to give something up in order to have this. And with the tower card and the lover's card, that's kind of saying the same thing. But I feel like, you know, they're not sure. They're not seeing things clearly. Like here, what's that moon and eight of swords? They're not seeing things clearly when it comes to the relationship. Um, I feel like they're just don't, they don't think you want it, Taurus. Uh, so with that seven of pentacles, king of wands, yeah, they feel like you're thinking about it. Um, you know, and you could be guy or girl, it doesn't matter, but they don't know if you want them. And that's something that they're overthinking, uh, if whether or not you want something with them, you see. But with that ten of pentacles, you guys could be dealing with a family or wanting a family, um, wanting something successful, but, you know... This person is thinking, you know, Taurus, maybe you lied a lot in the past or they lied a lot. And that's kind of what this person is constantly thinking about. So uh, what is that Ace of Cups? Taurus, December 28th, January 1st, Ace of Cups. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Five of Swords, you see. So this person might decide, you know, that, you know, the F with you and everything else. I'm just going to worry about myself. Let's see. What is that Five of Swords? Taurus is person. Yeah. Nine of Wands. So this person, um, they lack patience. Uh, they, they lack patience. Um, okay, so they're here wanting to, like, cut people off in order to have a relationship with you or, or cut, you know, Five of Swords again. But there's just some sort of, this person is, is getting frustrated um, they probably have some sort of hesitation or doubt, but it's because of those overthinking. You know, I don't know if someone did something shady in the past to the other person could have lied with omission, you know, didn't say the full truth. And now it's like this person is kind of afraid to cut you off um, and also afraid to be with you. They're kind of stuck. And I guess that's what that. OK, can you clarify the TikTok for Taurus person? Yeah, so they're kind of just up in the air. They're not really planning anything. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. What about the moon lovers in the tower? See, so they part of them thinks this is over and that they should move forward. Other parts of them are feeling like, you know, maybe I should just wait. This is not over. And they're just stuck. With that TikTok card, like I said, I feel like they might be waiting on you, Taurus, actually. So, uh, all right. So let's move on to your side, Taurus. You could be have gotten a new job as well, or just some sort of amount of money is going to be coming in for you this week. Um, with the Ten of Swords, it could also be, you know, you losing a job. Uh, let's see, what is that? Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Taurus, December 28th, January 1st. Yeah, so you could have lost a job or had to leave a job or you wasted or you might feel like this was a waste of time Taurus parts of you might be feeling that way like I'm trying to give this person something and they could have what is that tower card for Taurus's person Yeah, so you guys could have had some sort of communication towards and it led to you walking away uh, or is going to. Um, but it could be just because you might not be feeling good enough towards like not good enough, but there's some sort of lacking, you know, um, and it could be because of finances and, you know, where you're feeling like, you know, as much as I want this uh, with the three of pentacles and the Hank Ben, uh, you might be feeling like you're not sure that right now is a good time. Yeah, but King of Cups, Queen of Cups, I mean, I feel like both of you guys do want some sort of commitment with each other, but there's a lot of emotions here with these swords. You know, your person can be kind of wishy-washy with their emotions, and that's kind of what's making this situation be like, you know, where you kind of just want to walk away. So, yeah, and it could be because this person is leaving their options open, Taurus, with that Three of Cups. Um, you could be just Three of Cups. What is that Three of Cups? Four, three of cups before I continue. 
Yeah, you see, someone could be uh, kind of an alcoholic, Taurus. Um, so with that Seven of Wands and the Devil card, this is something that someone has an issue with, especially with that King of Pentacles. Somebody likes to flaunt their wealth to other people, likes to go out, likes to spend, you know, have a good time, throw parties maybe, or other people might be telling this person, um, or this could be you too, right? Feel free to swap it around. Um, could be telling you like, oh, don't worry, you know, you could just have money and have, you know, everyone that's basically meeting up to hook up with people, but not being in a committed relationship, you know, so that could be what's an issue here that someone kind of needs to move on from uh, with the seven of wands sideways. This is a boundary that is starting to be put into place, but it's not there yet. Okay, so um, it's also just listening to other people. One more before I move on. What is that nine of cups upside down for Taurus? And sorry if the cards are like not neat. Yeah, so Taurus, you might want to be with someone, but you kind of know that someone hasn't changed or vice versa, especially with that Knight of wands or that, you know, you want someone else, you know, take that how it resonates. But yeah, with that high priestess and the Knight of wands, you know, your intuition might be telling you, you know, the truth about, you know, a pregnancy or about you know someone getting pregnant from because the sacral chakra has a lot to do with being intimate this has a lot to do with the you know uh the body parts down there <laughs> uh the private parts so you know you could be knowing the truth about something like this is only a, that type of connection towards and that could be kind of why you're wanting to walk away um especially with that seven of wands here you know you're wanting to but you might not be in the process of a hundred that you might not have be there yet Okay, so uh, let's see with this deck. I'll do this one first. So let's see, Taurus, December 28th, January 1st. One more shuffle. January 28th, December 28th, January 1st, Taurus. Thank you. See, reconciling at the bottom of the deck. So again, like I said, you guys can come together, but I feel like you guys are putting more of that love on yourselves right now so that you guys... Your person's waiting on you to make a decision, especially with that two of pentacles. Meanwhile, you, I feel like, yeah, you see, learning from past mistakes, unexpected news, someone had an awakening. You guys come from different backgrounds, um, but you guys have, you see, you guys both want that commitment with that shared vision for the future. But you see entanglements at the bottom of the deck, you know, so someone could be sleeping around with someone else. Um... Someone might just be, again, meeting up to hook up but not be in a committed relationship. But it's like you guys want some sort of partnership. Could be a business partnership also. And with the King and Queen of Cups, Taurus, you guys both like each other. But I feel like, Taurus, you might be keeping your options open. Uh, or you might know that this person kind of only wants to be intimate with you, Taurus. And so that's kind of why. Yeah. So let's see. Taurus, December 28th, January 1st. Why it's kind of like... You're not balanced yet. Unity. You're spiritually connected to everyone. So, yeah, this is a moment for you guys to become whole within yourselves. That way you guys can come together. Yeah, see, so your person is, they really do want you, especially with that Reach for the Stars card. But I feel like they're not sure if you want them, especially with this Magnify Your Intention. So, if you're wanting this person, uh, unfortunately, you're not doing a good job at showing it. Um, or they're not, they're not, that's how they feel. You know, uh, especially with this family harmony card here. See, some of you guys do have kids with this person or a family. And it's also saying here, you know, you can replace these toxic people in your life. You know, hopefully it's not your family. That's the one that's toxic. Okay. But I feel like there's a need to think more for yourself, Taurus, here. Or to learn how to say no or have more boundaries towards this person. Um, because your intuition might be telling you it's just like a sexual connection. But over here... On your person's side, again, I feel like they're just waiting on you to see kind of like what you do. So Taurus, December 28th, January 1st. One more shuffle. Taurus, December 28th, January 1st. I will tell you the truth. So I will tell you the truth and I can't stop thinking about the past. See, your person, 
they're overthinking the past or the lies or whatever was shady that was done here. You know, even if it was you who maybe were intimate with someone else. I mean, I don't see like you guys were in a committed relationship. I just see like this person has a strong soul connection with you. And that could be kind of why they are, you know, they're kind of afraid to walk away and they're afraid to stay too, you know. So they're just kind of in limbo here wondering what you're going to do. Uh, look, I think about this all day, every day, you know, and you're here like, can I get a card for how Taurus is feeling? See, I'll have your back if you have mine. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like I'm not enough. And that might be the case, Taurus, you know, maybe this person was intimate with someone else. And so you're here feeling like, you know, I don't, I don't feel good enough for you. Like, you know, some sort of something like that could have happened, you know, take it how it resonates, guys. But Regardless, this person is kind of waiting on you. Um, they do want you with this reach for the stars. You know, they want something serious with you, but they kind of don't know what to do. So if you do want this person um, with this magnify intentions card, especially, you should probably kind of put something out there like a subliminal message somewhere or just message them straight up and let them know like, you know, you're just focusing on yourself right now. Uh, you could also be dealing with the Capricorn Taurus. And there was another sign I saw here. Oh, a Cancer also. Okay. So, you know, maybe about moving forward, there has to be more truth here in the communication. Okay. Like if someone's changed, they have to say like, you know, I'm changing right now. Um, but I am being for real when I'm offering you something. You know what I mean? You, you do make me happy. I'm just uh, working on myself right now. You know, so that could be something you might have to say if, if you do want this person kind of like, you know, I just I have some payments, debts, uh, whatever this is, payments, debt, tickets, you know, just things I have to take care of right now. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonated with you all, you guys are ready. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. Much love. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll be talking to you guys later. OK, thank you. Bye.